And here we have Anne-Marie in from Vancouver for the weekend, Victoria Day. Yes. We are not supposed to pee on the flowers. Yes, yeah, so we have to watch... That's, that's actually it. That's um, an instruction for the dogs. Yes, yes. They haven't said it to me. <laughs> it probably goes for us too, though. <laughs> I don't know if they, I haven't seen any men here yet. I don't know if they get <laughs> the same instructions. <laughs> yep. We're far enough from the downtown. It shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> okay. So this is my favorite kind of hosta. It's got the big blue, bluish leaves. And... Uh, not that common, but this is the biggest one I've ever seen of the big blue-leafed pasta. So it's pretty impressive. Did your mom have that in her Oak Bay garden? No, no. Um, I've only seen it. Uh, it's not that common. So, And we have lots of ferns here, all these different kinds of ferns. It's, I love this one. I don't know what it is, but that's a gorgeous fern. Very green. And this, I think, is a maiden's hair. Oh, okay. Fern. Nice. Yeah. And that's an arbutus, probably straight ahead. This? No. Um, the one in there with all of the gnarly. Yes, that's probably. Well, or it could be a kind of uh, roto. Um, this this is the rhododendron garden right here. Yes, and it's beautiful right now. Yes. It's yeah. roto season. Yes. And Victoria is very nice in the summertime. Oh, look, these are actually orange flowers. Yeah, that's unusual. Hi. Hi there. Hi. So these actually are rhododendron uh, trunks, but this one's already finished flowering. Yeah. So and this, is a, this is a huge rhododendron. I, you know, could date back to the 20s or 30s. When did they thing. build this garden? I'm not sure. That's what we'll have to look. I think it was the 30s they bought this place. Oh, cool. Yeah. So these were probably on the property even before then? Well, no, they probably planted them ah. in, the, in the 30s or something. I don't know. Yeah. But you can see the canopy of blossoms up there. My dad loved azaleas and rhododendrons. It was a bit of a challenge trying to get them to grow in New Brunswick with the uh, oh, yeah. it's snow pathetic. and the ice. Anyone in Toronto or Montreal or the Maritimes, just look at these rhodos. You have no idea how big they can get. <laughs> yeah, was it, was it in Vancouver that a couple got lost? In a rhododendron? No, that was in England. Well, that was in England. That was in England. People get lot. Evidently, they're invasive in England because they like the climate so much. Huh. They originally come, I think, from the Himalayas. No, there is there is a West Coast one, and in India, in the foothills of the Himalayas, you see them like 30 feet high. They're huge it's red rhododendrons. Very tall. Yeah. Yes. They're very beautiful. So here we have strange little flowers on this super big leafed. See, they're much bigger than the penguins. Whatever they are, we'll find out. So what did you call this? Oxalis? Yeah, oxalis. Which shamrocks are a type of, but this is a, they're bigger than, than shamrocks. See, they're quite big. So this one's this one's uh how can you tell if it's a rhododendron or an azalea? It, oh well I think the rhododendrons are the big ones. But azaleas yeah, azaleas are, I think Yeah, I am not sure what the difference is.
So this one you think is the azalea? Yeah, I think that's the azalea. Yeah, azaleas usually have smaller leaves. And they're also a little tougher than rhododendron. Oh, cool. I think they had the yellows and uh, reds and oranges more. Yeah, well, ro rhodos and azaleas come in every color, some of which they should not because they're ugly. Oh, which are the ugly colors? The ones that clash. Huh. <laughs> yeah. No, but nobody ever thinks about what That's colors to, no to plant them with. But this one's nice because it's got white in there too, so it's not quite as body. Yeah. Do you know what the white one is with the dark leaves over here? That's kind of cute. I like it. Yeah, it could be. No, I was thinking it might be a, a sort of cultivated variety of Queen's Anne lace. I'm not sure. Could be. Yeah, it's sort of like that, isn't it? It's just got darker leaves. And then the forget me nots. Is that what these are? Yep. Those forget me nots, which are. My mother considered a weed. Oh, I love forget me nots. I know, I got them too. <laughs> but you have to pull them all out or you get sort of. Oh, you get lots of them? E well, yeah, they kind of go ugly after they're uh, flowered. And then these will probably be allium, maybe? Yes, that's a cultivated allium. Nice big purple ones. And they look so good with that red roto. I cool. The taste police. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a beautiful rhododendron garden. It's oh, just... yeah. Have you been here before when they've been? Uh, I don't think I've ever been here when they've been in bloom, no. I just like the colors. Yes. I love that. Look at that pale yellow one. That's gorgeous. Yes, it's very nice. Really quite a formal little English garden here. It's kind of very cool. And these are certainly full of color. And these are weird. This one is purple iris, which I used to have in my backyard, but I think they're all gone now. Oh, are they? And then these ones will be birds of paradise about to flower. I doubt that. Well, they have the upright. I know, but I don't think bird of paradise grows outside here. That would be interesting to know, but they don't, that's not the leaf of a bird of paradise. No? Oh. no. You're feeding false information. <laughs> do oh, not, well. <laughs> do not feed false information or we'll, we'll be zapped on the internet <laughs> by all the horticulturalists. <laughs> oh, well, if anybody knows what these are, I guess we come back in a, about two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll find out. And see if they're bird of paradise orange or not. And these look like peonies down here, but I don't see any. Don't, don't see, see any, buds. any buds at all. No, so it might be something kind else. Kind of odd. So this is wisteria, the vine. Very... It only grows on the west coast of Canada. Oh, really? Yeah, see, it won't grow anywhere else in Canada. Oh, because, yeah. The Japanese maple. Oh, God, it smells really good. Oh, nice. Oh, it's got the most amazing smell. Oh, a tree peony? Oh yeah, I had tree peonies in uh, 
Ottawa, but that's quite quite a lovely they're always such big blooms. Yeah, and they've already they look like they're pretty much finished and that's uh that's really early. Yes. And here we have massive Japanese maples. I had one in the backyard, but like hostas, they are the deer's favorite food. Oh, look at this. This is incredible. It's huge. See? A huge flower. That one's pretty much finished.